Hi guys, how are you all doing? Now don't worry, I'm not going to make a habit of doing reviews on old mobile phones. Um, however, saying that, I know I did a review, well not really a review, a bit of a show and tell on my old Motorola International uh, 5, uh, 5200. Uh, cracking phone, um, but the only problem is I can't get a battery. Uh, so if anyone knows where I can get another one of these batteries from, because this is completely dead, everything else works brilliantly on this. Um, the only problem is uh, it's just the battery. Um, I've looked on eBay, I can't seem to find one. Uh, I know a few people have commented saying you just need to search and uh, you'll come across, but I'll search and I haven't. But um, no doubt if I keep on looking I'm sure I'll find something. But anyway, getting back onto the topic, this is a Panasonic phone. Now this is the old analogue system uh, phone. so won't work on today's networks however GSM uh, there is a GSM version out there somewhere because I used to have one um, so here we go this is the phone oh gosh I've never noticed that before I've seen the lock code written on quite bulk instructions you don't get instructions like that anymore do you with the phones um, this hasn't been opened for many years it's been stored in a workshop I hope there's no uh, Spiders and then it's going to jump out. Gosh, this is a blast from the past. Okay, so like I said with the uh, the last phone I did and talked about, the phones in the olden days used to come with proper desktop chargers, which was a great advantage. I do miss the desktop chargers. But here we go. Now, this isn't one of the original first uh, Panasonic phones in this style to come out. And I'll show you in a short while once I've got this opened up. Oh, okay. That's how that works then. Right, that's bringing back memories. Okay. Let's get rid. Let's get rid of all this stuff. Right, so what have we got? We've got a desktop charger. We have two batteries. I'm sure neither of which work anymore. And the handset and your, uh, your power supply. So the great thing about this was that you could actually put on a thin slimline battery like so and you could have that on charge. I think that went in there didn't it? And then your spare battery, a longer life battery, would uh, just simply pop in and click into place like so. What I'm going to do is to plug this in and see whether there's any power in the batteries at all see whether we can get anything to work. Okay, let's just put that in like so. Right, so that's plugged in. Uh, it's not even registering the fact that there's batteries in there. Okay, so now it's completely dead. I know that the power supply is working. Um, and I think it's because the batteries are so old and the contacts are probably so dodgy. There's just no power in it at all. But there you go, never mind. Okay, so this was probably the third, the third generation in this style of phone that Panasonic did. Um, it came with a hands-free car kit, or you could get a hands-free car kit for it rather, which enabled you then to have this sitting in wide into your car with it had a coily spring cable that plugged into the bottom, that plugged into uh, parts of another component onto your dashboard. And then this would just sit into a cradle and the great thing was that it gave you the option to use it as a full hands-free car phone effectively and that was done simply by the fact that that was facing you at all times um, keypad, screen, everything um, and if you wanted to pick it up to, to use it pri uh, privately rather than hands-free uh, you just pick it up and then straight away you got the earpiece and microphone kind of in the right orientation for you so that was one of the favourites um, as an analogue phone, yeah, it worked out quite well. Quite a, a big old antenna there. The only thing is, it's a bit of an odd shape when you come to have the extended life battery on. Because, as you can see, it's battery kind of digs into your cheek there. Um, so not the most comfortable of phones to hold. But still, it did the job. It was, uh, it was a good phone. Now, shortly after this, um, this is probably 1994, 95 uh, this came out. Um, shortly after the analogues turned off, uh, digital GSM 
came into play. And it wasn't long until Panasonic did a phone almost identical this in features and size, uh, including shape and the desktop charger, um, which was actually a uh, GSM version. And underneath here, there's a little slide just here, which pulled out and you put your SIM card in, your mini SIM, and slide it back in. And uh, it was quite a good phone. Again, it's had the same problems of the, the battery and, and the whole feel and style of it. But it was a good phone. And I had one. Oh, powered up then. Yeah, I had one for a short period of time. And uh, it, was, it was a good phone. You see that? Ah, oh, it's not powering up now. That's typical. Yeah, so it was a good phone. So I'm trying to uh, get hold of another one, guys and gals out there. So if you know of anyone who's got the GSM version of this, let me know, because um, I'm interested in getting one. Um, I do keep on looking at eBay, but uh, no joy. This, incidentally, an old Nokia, been playing with that. So that uh, works on the PCN network, which is uh, basically the, uh, the orange or uh, EE network as it is now. Uh, Function-wise, yeah, it's had uh, basic functionality on this. Uh, couldn't send a text because it was analog. Uh, to change the ring volume and everything else, it was a blooming nightmare. You had to go through a, a whole load of systems. But look at this, without the reflection of the light. Quick reference guide shows you how to do basic operations and advanced operations underneath. Um, you needed this, seriously, you did. It was that difficult to use. But um, nevertheless, in its day, it was a great phone. Um, so yeah, let me know if you know of anyone with a GSM version. Uh, as you always, comments down below. Any power in this? The LEDs aren't coming on, but I think there's some power going into these. Anyway, happy days. Okay, guys, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Take it easy, and I'll catch you next time.